Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. I am going to do a lip collection and um, maybe a couple declutter um, today. These are my mini lipsticks, like just bullet lipsticks. I have them in here. I have um, tried to organize them by like brighter colors versus neutrals. Um, and then I have a few that don't really fit in either place. So we're gonna start with that drawer. Um, and I actually, I kind of was looking through them as I was trying to sort them. I think these are ones that I am going to pass along. I'm not going to swatch any of these this time. Um, I know for my liquid lipstick, I swatched them all, but that was a lot. Um, and I don't know if it really helped that much. So I will show you all of these and tell you the name. But if you want to, um, in future videos, if you think it's better that I swatch, do leave me that down below so that I can do that. Um, first we have from Marc Jacobs, this is the shade Scandal. Um, this is the La Creme lipstick. It is a very dark purple and I just, I never reach for it. So I'm going to pass that along um, to a friend. Also the same with this one. This is from Buxom. This is the shade Moon, Moon? Moonlighter, I think is what it's called. I can't even read it because I've kind of worn it off the end. Um, so that one I think I'm going to pass along as well. As well as this one, which is a very brown shade. This is the Bite Beauty shade Nori. Just a little too dark, burgundy-ish brown. Not something I wear a lot. Um, a neutral one that I don't wear is the Brioche. This is the multi-stick. This is not the, lip, not the lipstick from Bite, but the multi-stick. And then um, also going to pass along, this is the Sephora. This is in the shade um, number 14. It is a Rouge Brilliance or Rouge Shine lipstick. Um, and then this one, I opened it and I was like, oh, it's such a pretty color. And then I was overwhelmed with the scent. This one missed it in my declutter video. This one really should have been in there. This is another Bare Minerals and it is um, a Marvelous Moxie in the shade Get Ready. So that one is being tossed because it is just, um, it's a little, um, right. All right, so we have this drawer um, full of more neutral colored lipsticks. So we'll start with those and go through them. We're gonna start with Hourglass. I kind of have them divided by um, brand. So hopefully that will work. I have, these are the Girl by Hourglass. I have Influencer, which is a, one that I need to, to try to wear because I'm not sure if it's something I really want to wear is, is also this one. This is Futurist. They both are a little like in that concealery brownish um, shade family, so I'm not sure. I'm a little nervous about them. Um, then moving on to ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills, I have Soft Pink. Orchid, which is kind of on the border. It's a little bright, but it's not as bright as my other brights, so I'm not really sure. And then um, this one is Kiss from Makeup Forever. This one I need to desperately pan because it is almost gone. It is so close. This is number nine in Makeup Forever. From MAC, I have a few. These are from the Nutcracker collection. This is a matte um, in Nouvelle Rouge, or Vogue. Sorry, Vogue. Then we have Kinda Sexy, which is also a matte. I really like the matte formula of MAC lipsticks. And this one is a cream sheen in Cream Cup. It's a little light. It's not, I don't like it as well as the other ones. From Bobbi Brown, I have this lovely color. This is the shade Neutral Rose. Then from Wonder Beauty, I have, um, this is Barely There. I love this shade. That is a beautiful mauve or mauve. Um, I wear it quite a bit. Um, I do like that one. Then from Kat Von D, this is a Studded Kiss in Double Dare. I got this one in my Allure box not too long ago. Hopefully that's not too loud because I'm trying to put them down in front. Um, from NARS, Orgasm. Um, I don't wear that one very much, but um, I should probably try to get it out. 
I just realized I missed a couple of ABH, so I'm gonna grab those out really fast. Um, they were kind of buried. I thought I had a couple more. I have Spice, which is a little on the brownie side for my liking. Um, and then I have Dead Roses. All of these that I'm keeping, um, I need to really like get out and wear them because I'm not sure how much I actually like them. Um, so I need to um, try them out and see if there's something that I wanna even keep or if it's something I like to wear. So that is my goal for this next um, few months. This is another Kat Von D studded lipstick. This is in the shade Muse. And it looks like it has a sheen to it. It's not, um, it's not, it has sheen to it. I don't know how else to say it. I have two of these for Makeup Forever. These are both the shade C211, um, but they look different. They have different shades when I swatch them. I was going to get rid of them, but they are different enough, even though they're supposed to be the same lipstick, the same color, um, that I'm going to keep them both because that's like a color I wear quite a bit. I like that shade. From Burberry, I have the shade Nude Rose. And I love these because they have the little pattern on them as well, which is just super, super cute. Um, Tom Ford, this is the shade um, Indian Rose, beautiful shade, um, but I hardly ever wear it because I know I'll never get a full size of it because it's so expensive. From NYX, the other end of the line, this is a butter lipstick in the shade Root Beer Float. I do like that color. You probably are sensing a pattern in what I like. From Besame, I have the shade 1969. This is a pinky color, and these smell so good. I love the scent of the Besame um, lipsticks. From Too Faced, this is the shade Naked Dolly. It's one of their, what are these called? Um, Oh, it doesn't say on it, but they're a little sheer looking. Um, they're not completely opaque. From Tarte, I have three of the blue ones. I have Salt Life, Island Life, which is a little darker, and Set Sail. I need to use those more because I don't use those a whole bunch. Also from Tarte, I have this one um, in Living. This is one of my favorite um, formulas. I love that Tarte lipstick um, formula. From Buxom, I have one of these ones, which are their Big and Sexy. This is in Sultry Mauve or Mauve. Pretty nice color there. And then I have two of their um, silver packaging. This one is Centerfold. And then I have Mistress, which is more, it looks a little bright compared to so many of my neutrals, but it is still a pretty light lipstick. So it actually does really um, fit into this um, pile. From Bare Minerals, now I want to smell all my Bare Minerals because they make me nervous. Um, this is Speak Your Mind, and it smells really good, so that's good. From Smashbox, um, this is the shade Stylist, and it is a matte in the Be Legendary lipsticks. One from Laura Mercier, this is the shade Sensual. From Clinique, we have two of the Pops. This is Love Pop, which has a slight shimmer to it as well. And it's very sheer, so even though it looks a little dark, it's still pretty neutral. And then we have Plum Pop, which is a really pretty color. Oh my goodness, I just got it on my fingers. How did I manage to do that? I'm a klutz. All right, and then from YSL, um, I have this little one. What is this? It does not say what shade it is in, but it's a nice, lovely, neutral shade. Then moving on to Marc Jacobs, I have um, Sonic Truth. 
which I'm not really sure about. This is one that I feel like is a little light. Um, I should probably swatch it and see. Infamous, I have a full size of this as well. It is probably my favorite shade in all of Marc Jacobs' La Creme lipsticks. I have two of the Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Um, it is pretty close to Infamous, so I decided to keep both of my minis because I probably will use them. And then I have two of the Slow Burn. Um, this one a lot of people really like, and I need to try it some more and play with it because it's not something I've used a whole bunch. Finally, for these um, mini lipsticks in neutrals, I have all of my um, Bite Beauties. So, first one we have is Verbena, which is a really pretty, more pinky toned. Then we have Pepper. Rhubarb, which has a slightly darker shade to it. Um, sweet Cream which is a peachier. Um, it looks really bright on camera. It's not quite that bright um, in, to my eye. And then I have Fig, which I really like. I think it's a pretty color. I don't wear these very much, and I don't know why. Um, and Thistle, which is a little on the gray side. So that's another one that I need to look at and examine and see if it is something um, that I would really wear. And if not, I should pass it along. We have um, the brights and reds and darks. Those are all on here. There are not as many of them as you can tell. Um, it could be because I don't wear them as much. We're gonna start with Wander Beauty. Lovely dark red. This is in the shade um, Wanderberry, which makes a lot of sense. Um, from Giorgio Armani, this is in the shade 400. That's really pretty. I need to start using more of my reds because I don't wear a lot of my reds. From Sephora, I have two. This is in the shade R04. And then we have the shade M11, so that's a much darker one. From Buxom, I have three. We have the shade Menace, which is a nice dark shade. And some of these, like the Buxoms, I should really work on trying to um, get rid of because I've had them for a while. Swinger, which is a really fun, bright pop of purple. And then a reddish tone. This is provocateur. From Clinique, I have one. This is another of the pops. This is the Cherry Pop. I really like Clinique lipsticks quite a bit. I, the, um, what are they called? They're my favorite. I have them all the time. I'll have to think about it. Um, I have one from YSL. I'm not sure of what the shade is once again, because it doesn't really tell you. From Makeup Forever, I have this lovely M401 red shade there. We have a couple from Bite. One is a regular lipstick. This is in the shade Kimchi, which definitely does not look like Kimchi that I have ever seen. And then uh, another one, this was for VIB Rouge. Um, it just says Bite for VIB Rouge. It's a nice red color a Kat Von D in the shade Mother. This one is a darker shade. Um, it's a really pretty shade. I like it, um, but it's definitely not an everyday shade for me personally. From NYX, we have two of the matte lipsticks. We have the shade Eden, and then we also have the shade Shocking Pink which is more of a purpley color. And then we also have one of the butter lipsticks and this is in the shade Ripe Berry. That's really pretty. These, the butters are more sheer. And then the Simply Red from NYX Lip, Creme, Lip Cream in Russian Roulette. In a similar um, style to that one from Tarte, I have one of the Lip Surge Surgeons 
lip creams. Um, I'm not sure what shade this is in, but it's a really pretty shade. I like it a lot. From Fenty Beauty, I have one, and this is in the shade Candy Venom. It is a very bright pink that looks a little um, more red than it actually is. It's, it's a very hot pink. Carl Lagerfeld and Model Co. Nice red lipstick. It doesn't have the name on it either. From Smashbox, this is the um, Be Legendary lipstick in Legendary, as far as I remember. Nice red shade. Then we have from ABH, I have three here. The first one is um, Stargazer. Oh, this one I love. It is a great color. Um, then we have Cotton Candy, which is a bit more of a bubblegum pink. And finally, we have Plumeria, which is a darker color. It's really pretty too. I really liked the mini set of those. From Marc Jacobs, I have a few. I have O oh Miley, which is a uh, lighter, kind of brighter red. Then we have Miss Scarlet, which is more of a brick red. Um, current mood, current as in the um, fruit, not in the time. This is So Rouge. This was also a rouge gift back in the day. And then finally for Marc Jacobs, I have um, Goddess, which is really pretty as well. From Besame, I have 1970, which is more of a brownie. This one kind of could be considered more of a neutral, um, but it is it's right on the border of those two. Then we have 1930, which is a really dark, dark red. 1935, slightly um, lighter. And then 1946, which is more of a brick red. I love these lipsticks from Besame. They're some of my favorites. Then from Burberry, we have um, Military red. Like I said, these have the little Burberry pattern on them, which makes me so happy. Then we have um, Oxblood, which is a really dark red. And last one from Burberry, this is Damson. So like the plum, it is really pretty. I like that one quite a bit. And then finally, my final four in here, they're all Max from the holiday sets. We have Lady Danger, which is an orangey red. This one is Diva, which is more of a burgundy red. Rebel, which is that dark purple-y shade. And last one is Mac Red. So that is it. Oh, that one's really pretty. Those are all of my mini bullet lipsticks. I actually just thought about, I do have the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs collection from Besame as well, but um, they're still in the package. They're not really something that I have in rotation or in these drawers. Um, I did divide my lipsticks into minis and full size just so that I could um, try to get more use of my minis and try to get through them because I feel like I could get through some of them, especially that one um, from Makeup Forever that's just like this much left on it. I really need to start working through that. Let me know if you have any of these lipsticks, if you like them, if you like this formula or this format, or if you would rather me swatch them all, I would be happy to do so next time as well. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. I should have right down here how many um, I have and how many I decluttered, which was only like six that's okay. Um, I already did a bigger declutter earlier um, this year with a whole bunch of lippies all at once. So make sure you watch that one as well. I will talk to you guys next time and I look forward to reading your comments. <laughs> Bye.